Hey everybody, welcome back to another Diecast Review. As you can see, today we are taking a look at Bubba Wallace's 2022 Dr. Pepper Toyota Camry. And this is the, um, not the first, but it is, I believe, the first Dr. Pepper uh, for the NASCAR Next Gen car. Uh, but you can see we do have the same box artwork as all the other ones. Uh, just says Bubba Wallace and the Cup Series, and then it's all gray the rest of the way around. Number 23, Dr. Pepper 2022 Camry, limited edition. And then Lionel, the official diecast of NASCAR. Box artwork is very, very uh, standard, I guess. There's no changes around it. Literally just name and the Cup Series logo. I believe the Hendrick cars have, have their um, team name. And that's literally about it. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get a nice close look at the car itself. Uh, here you can see our number 23. Now, you'll notice that the outline of that number is a little hard to see. Well, that's because it's a chrome, uh, not a chrome number. It is a chrome outline of that number so you can see here on the roof there you see how that outline is nice and chrome and shiny same on the door so we do have a very tiny amount of chrome on here just a little reflection off of the outline of the numbers but still looks really really good uh now we do have number 23 we got dr pepper uh let's see the ones race fans deserve we got mcdonald's we've got doordash trd uh more sponsors around here on the back litos columbia root insurance uh we do have our ethanol ring as well here Bubba Wallace up there on the name rail. Uh, obviously on the front window, you got Wallace and Toyota. Dr. Pepper on the hood. Nice big logo. And then you see the hood scoops or the hood vents there. Uh, there's the Camry front end on the 2022 Camry. Um, number looks pretty good. So the, the next-gen Camry still looks pretty similar to the other one up front. It's in the back where you see all the differences. But, um, yeah, same as the left side here. Everything looks about the same. Once you get to the rear of the car here, you got Toyota. You can see the spoiler uh, actually at pretty normal height. It's not near as tall as it is on some of the other cars. I think the Chevy's had pretty tall spoilers. Uh, but the Toyotas, it seems like they just they didn't make the spoilers quite as tall. And it looks really good. Uh, we got Wallace on the rear window. And then um, underneath there you can see our diffuser. What does that say? Toyota trademarks used with permission. Mm, interesting. Um, so, yeah, overall, um, the 164s, definitely the... The next gens have the white interior, um, and the new one or the um, the non neck. Uh, what am I trying to say? Non authentics use the black interior with the windshield banners and stuff, so you wouldn't have Wallace on the rear or front window, that kind of stuff. So that's really what sets these apart from um, you know something like those next gen car or the uh, the next gens in the authentics line. Um, so I do prefer it from that aspect. I also think the, the quality is just a tiny bit better, but um, you know, it's really preference based from there. Um, but other than that, guys, that's really all there is to show on this diecast review. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Turn on the bell and subscribe for more diecast content. But other than that, guys, this has been Race Craze. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next diecast review.